Good. There, and then I'm getting the hips open to the feet line aggressively. Very good. Right, we're on. Today we're talking downswing, how Hogan starts his downswing, and what we can learn from how Hogan starts his downswing. Hogan was the man. My last two videos have been on Hogan's golf swing and how he set himself up, how he got the club to the top of the backswing. Now today we're starting the downswing. Hogan style. You can learn so much from this video. So our last couple of videos we've talked about how Hogan set up. Hogan set up with his address position with the arms, right elbow pointing to right hip, left elbow to left hip. The simple action there was take your normal address position and then turn the elbows round. So right elbow to right hip, left elbow to left hip. Not in address position out this way. We did that, then we got to the top of our swing and felt the connection between right arm and right pec by initially tucking the right elbow in at address, maintaining that, and then from there we can start down like Hogan. Nice little recap there. Eh? <laughs> so Hogan's downswing, address position, as we've just talked about, elbows to hips, right elbow tucked in to ensure connection between pec and right bicep, up the top of our swing, fully connected, good shoulder turn, and we're set to go. Now the last thing we want to do is start the downswing from the hands. Everything has to get thrown out to the hands, so the energy comes from the middle of the body, the core, so hips, chest, then arms. The energy goes down the arms, down the forearms, down to the wrists, down to the hands, down the shaft, to the club head, to the sweet spot. So that energy is thrown out towards the golf ball from the large muscles of the body. So Hogan started his downswing with the hips. He clearly states in his book, The Five Lessons, that he starts the downswing with his hips. From the top of the swing, up here, nice and connected in there, then it's the hips that turn first, which leave the hands behind. The turning of the hips pulls the arms down. Watch this. If I take my belt off, I'm going to link my belt through here. There we go. So now my belt is joined on to my hips. Okay. If I take my belt, let me just get my head round this for a second, grip my belt and get to the top of my swing, give me some slack, top of my swing, now imagine this belt is attached to my left hand, so round my left hand, there, so I get to the top of my swing, good, now that there's tension there in the belt, now if I turn my hips, it's the hips that pull the arms down. So this belt's got a bit of give in it. There. So now if I turn my hips, it's the belt there, it's the hips that's pulling the arms down. I'm not naturally pulling them down. Top of my swing there. You can see the tension in the belt. And then from there, watch where my hands go as I turn my hips towards target. See how they go downwards? They don't go out, because look, the tension's all lost. When my arms go out the way, even just out a fraction, tension's lost. Up to the top, turn the hips, brings the hands down. Brings the hands down into the slot to hip high. Then from there, Hogan talks about both hands poof, accelerating through to golf ball. Take your belt off and feel that. Feel the tension it creates. Feel when the left hip turns away from the golf ball to target and turns away, so a lateral rotation, you will feel that the arms get pulled down. So then, therefore, they stay behind, rather than going out towards the golf ball. <sighs> that was quite hard work. Let's do that one more time, though. You can really feel that. So I'm there, I can feel the tension, and then from there I get the left hip to turn away, and it pulls my arms down. Again, left hip to turn away, pulls my arms down. That motion there creates the slack, all power's leaked. There we go. So having said that, how do we start the downswing with our left hip? Well, Hogan talked about what the muscles do. Address position, elbows, good, right elbow tucked in, maintain the connection. Up the top, connection maintained. He felt as though he could feel the tension being created in the inner and outer left thigh and the muscles down the right thigh pushing away from the right side. So he initiated it with 
tension in the thighs to get the left hip to move out towards target and behind him so therefore when he gets to hip high the hands are behind him and he can just throw the hands towards target so by driving the legs getting the legs to work hip high to the hands then both hands to target nice and firm we get great strike that was pure go back there actually so now I've set up my Eureka canes. For me, Eureka is the easiest way for the hips to open. The tension of the torque that's created between the, the, the larger shoulder turn against the shorter hip turn on the backswing, which Hogan again talks about, creates a torque. So if we can get the, the hips to turn earlier through the shot, and if we start them with an open position, there's going to be even more resistance between shoulders and, and hips. It might reduce the length of your backswing slightly, but if we can get the hips to really open early, then we're going to create that power. It's going to keep the hands behind us as well, so there's no more over the top. So my Eureka canes are set up here. My club's online, but my feet are open to my target, yet my shoulders are still square. Then I take Hogan's elbows and Hogan's right arm. And then from the top from there, I think about left knee, Externally rotating, which again is using the muscles that Hogan talked about. And if the left knee externally rotates, then the hips open up, the left hip moves behind me, and from there, the hands are behind me at hip high, and I can then throw the hands aggressively through the shot from an open stance. Now this is going to create a straight flight or even a draw, because the body's opened up, but the hands are coming from behind, so the path's slightly in to out. So a very, very solid square strike. Hogan, address position, Eureka, elbows to hips, right elbow tucked in for connection. There, then from there the downswing starts from the left leg, externally rotating, so the hips now open up to my feet line, not my target line, but my feet line. And again, hitting another good strike. Starting with the feet open like that, it's a reference point. So the feet are open, but shoulders are square, Eureka style. Hogan set up. Then impact, for from the top of the backswing, we get the hips to open up to the feet line. Because guess what? They're already pointing left. And guess what? Our hips haven't turned quite as far back, or too far back, because they've started in a slightly more open position. Which is all the fancy, torquey stuff that we're talking about. Address position, feet open, shoulders square. Hogan's elbows towards hips, right elbow tucked in to maintain connection. Then from there, hips simply aggressively open up to the feet line and then both hands can be thrown hard at the golf ball. Like so. So all I think about here, once my elbows are in place and my right arm's locked in, is I mean, so that's the dress position, elbows in place, right arm locked in. Maintain the connection of the right arm, upper arm and chest to the top and then from there aggressively open the hips to the feet line then aggressive with the hands from there that was the best yet that was really good oh my word that was a very aggressive hip turn aggressively open the hips to the feet line which are left of target but shoulders are square so we're okay just because our feet aim left just because our feet are pointing left doesn't mean we're aligned ourselves left Hogan's elbows, right hip, right arm tucked in, set. Up the top, maintain connection with right arm and right pec. Aggressively open the hips to the feet line and then aggressive through the shot with two hands. And as Hogan says, you can hit the ball hard from there. From hip high, you can hit the ball hard. Elbows, right elbow set, good. There, and then I'm getting the hips open to the feet line aggressively. Very good. That's right up there. Let's do one more. So the Eureka Golf Swing, the Eureka Golf Swing has a similarity to Hogan, similarity to Tony Fino, to John Ram, to Lee Trevino. All these things are incorporated in one swing to make it more consistent. There we go, feet are open, elbows to hips, right elbow locked in, Right elbow maintains its connection as the hips open aggressively to the feet line. Then we can hit it hard with the hands from halfway down. Hips open. Ah, oh, it's class. It's class. <laughs>
So I've got two balls left. I'll put your face on. I'm going to try and miss the camera. It's the only one I have. And you'll be able to see here how the hips open up first. There we go. Dress position. Good. All the Hogan stuff. Then from there the hips open up to the feet line. And then from there it's all aggressive. So we're looking at the, the, the left hip opening up first to start the downswing here. Just, I actually don't think I've struck the ball as well in a long time as now incorporating the last three Hogan videos including this one and the Eureka is the best I've struck the ball for a long long time elbows set right elbow in position maintain the connection there start the downswing hips open up to feet line aggressive shot Loving it, absolutely loving it. Let's go home. Job done. <laughs> Guys, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that little Hogan series that I've put together there. There's three videos. We'll, we'll continue doing more if required. You guys leave the comments below and let me know if that's interesting stuff for you. EurekaGolfSwing.com is a place to go for that as well. That's also going to, obviously going to let you know about how the canes are lined up, all the video series is in there. Please go and check that out. That would be much appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel. I mean... Subscribe, bell notification, thumbs up, all those things. Get that done right now and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.